This video shows how to make maps for the Urban Observatory. Urban Observatory focuses on the people who live in cities, the work they do there, the networks and public facilities needed to run the city, and the natural systems that are affected by the city. If you represent a city with data sets in any of these categories, we urge you to participate in the project. To participate, visit www.urbanobservatory.org and click on the Participate link. Scroll down to the Contact form and fill out your information. We will reply by email with details on how to build the maps. The email contains a link to the data loading tools. When ready, download the tools to your local machine. It's about 10 megabytes in size. Next, extract the tools to a local directory. Then open the folder you extracted and look for one of the PDF documents that describe each map available. In Here we're looking at population density. Each map has its own description. It has a sample map, a map legend, and a list of data required. Each map also has step-by-step -step instructions. So our next step here will be to look at the pop density MXD. Open the MXD in ArcMap 10.1 or greater. You'll find the toolbox in the catalog window. Here we'll open the tool, the population density tool, in order to take a look at what its parameters are. You'll drag and drop your layers into the tool in order to run it. Now I'm going to go find the data for my city. If any geographic transformation is required for your data, now is the time to choose it. Zoom to your layer so you can see it. Then add your buildings. Okay, I've added the two layers required for this particular model. Now I need to run the tool. First we'll put the source for the small area demographic data for this population density map, and we will add the building footprints, which are used as well. I'm going to leave that destination, confirm my geographic transformation, and we'll go find the field that contains my total population. Here it's just a field called total persons. What happens next is we make a copy of your data projected into an area preserving projection 
figure out for each feature what the area in square, square kilometers is and you identified the total population field, we now have everything we need to calculate population density. Writes the results out to a destination folder. And the model's complete. Here we ran data for, I think this is the city of Perth, Australia. Zoom out a little to see the results and turn off the original data, the sample data that was provided. We get a visual confirmation that something was processed here. Now is your chance to look through it and see if there's any missing data or other oddities before sending it back to Esri. We're going to go click File, Share as a Map Package. And in this example, I'm going to upload this package directly to my ArcGIS Online account. The description tags, everything necessary is already provided. And I'm going to check off the Urban Observatory Curator group. I'll save the, pack, save the map and begin the process of preparing the data into a map package and posting it to ArcGIS Online. Once it's successfully created the map package online, it will appear in the curator group for staff at Esri to pick up and cache and put into the Urban Observatory. If you don't see the items at first, be sure to check off the Show ArcGIS Desktop Content and that first item, UO Tools version 2 pop density, that's a package we just uploaded. Next step, go on to one of the other models, perhaps railroads, open space, industrial, any of the topics you're ready to, to work on next. As before, there's a complete description, examples, and step-by-step -step instructions on how to build this map. When the map package is received back at Esri, we take steps to put it into a caching MXD, post the results online so they can be shared on displays such as this and in the compare application that is available online through ArcGIS Online and through the Urban Observatory website. We'll publish your maps alongside the other cities in apps such as this comparison app found in the Urban Observatory website. Thank you for your interest in the Urban Observatory.